Back in the Matt Cave, folks. We are. It's my birthday today. Did you know that? It's my birthday today. I'm gonna do a vlog for you guys today. We're gonna do a mail vlog. I got some mail there to open up for you guys. It's gonna be pretty sweet. <clears throat> but before that, I gotta get a little extra. It's my birthday, so I'm gonna get something special for the Matt Cave today. I've been wanting to get one for a while for the Matt Cave. And uh, so we're gonna go to Menards real quick before we go. So, whoops, drop my phone, drop my phone, drop. Man, the Matt Cave needs a little bit of a cleanup, I believe. Ah, uh, look how pretty the leaves are. Minnesota's leaves are no joke. They make me happy on my birthday. So nice. Got my birthday parking spot right up front. Woohoo! Menards has kind of a fun Halloween section too, so we might as well check that out real quick while I'm here. I have a feeling the thing that I'm purchasing for the Matt Cave is going to be in the Halloween section anyway, so. In. A big old pumpkin. First up, I need a light bulb. I need a light bulb with the little base, but I want it to be orange. I don't think I got them. But no worries. That's not why I can't. That was just a sidetrack. I'm gonna pick up maybe one of these though. I'll pick up this. This will have to do the trick for now. I can have a pink one. A pink or blue. That don't make no sense. Uh -huh. Here we are. Menards Halloween section. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, wow. They got a pirate. How much are you, mister? Hmm. I'm not seeing what I need. Don't see what I need yet. Ah. Aha. There it is, folks. $24 on sale. Fog machine. Matt Cave's about to get a foggy makeover. <laughs> These are kind of fun. They got little like Christmas villages, but for Halloween. Those witches look pretty cool. Oh, and Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming. Oh, I'm gonna stay out of Christmas just yet. I don't think there's anything else I need. Maybe a few things I want. <laughs> Spooky mingos. Like flamingos? Spooky mingos. But a good section. Oh geez, there's all the blow up toys. Oh, my goodness. I wanna know how much this guy is though. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, way too much, way too much. Could get a bag of bones for 10 bucks. My, uh, what do you call it? Ooh, ooh, maybe I need a gigantic skull. Holy cow. What would I do with that, though? There's only one orange in there. But that'll do the trick. And only 98 cents, so I'll have a couple extras for when Christmas comes around. Good deal. Success. Ooh, pretty. All right, we got everything we need. Let's get out of this here store. All right, we got it. Let's get back to the Matt Cave. All right, here we are back at the Matt Cave. Pulling in. We're about to make this Matt Cave back into a Matt Cave and not so much of a garage. It's just been a garage lately. It's gonna be a Matt Cave again today. <laughs> Hashtag Halloween excitement. <laughs> the reason why I needed this right here. <laughs> Ashley's mom just gave us this. Apparently it used to be Ashley's when she was little. Well, I mean, it, it was in her house when she was little. And now it's in our house. <laughs> I'm gonna light them up. One of these old school dealies. It's got the little on the back. Just realize his hat comes off. <laughs> Makes it easy to show you. Ba boom, ba boom. Oops, 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 get in there. There you go. I just need to plug her in. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Get your hat back on. Welcome to the family, my friend. Welcome to the family. Here's a few fun things. Put a hole in the bottom of that, put a little tea light in them. Just a few fun things. 
He busted. I fixed him. I glued him. This thing makes cool noises. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I got that thing at uh, Goodwill for like a few bucks. Goodwill. Good job, Goodwill. Hey, hey. No. Now we've got this guy with a brand new happy light. He's happy. We got this guy here, old George. I call him George. He he dances. He used to laugh and have a song. He lost his laugh in his song though. Kind of bummed about that. But old George, he still dances, don't you, buddy? I named him George because he looked like a George. I painted this. Painted this. Put in some stuff there. And by stuff, I mean a tea light. We enjoy Halloween around here. <laughs> cute, gory. Actually, they're both kind of cute. <laughs> Check it out. It's even Halloween in my fish tank. <laughs> I've got these blood red parrots, which are kind of like Frankenstein fish. They're just this weird combination of a bunch of different fish that they genetically engineered they probably shouldn't have created but they did and they're kind of cool one of them lives in the skull a pirate parrot fish living in the skull of a pirate i love it it's kind of like uh halloween in my fish tank so happy halloween guys he's hungry he's hungry aren't you ashley put a happy birthday thing up for me today but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Look, we got pumpkins all over this house. There's pumpkins everywhere. What is there is, let's get back out in the mat cave and let's play with the fog machine and open up our mail time. This is boring. Let's get some lights and smoke in here. Me back in, did you? Yeah. Give me treats or trick you, I will. This is too cool. I think Ashley got that for me for my birthday a couple years ago. <laughs> Here comes the smoke. Nice. <laughs> that looks awesome in here now. Of course, got the rad arcade rocking the Goonies. Because it's my birthday and it's the best movie in the world. Now it's a Halloween episode of Matt's Rat Show. Slash happy birthday. All right, well, we've properly adjusted the Matt Cave to Halloween. And we are now going to do my birthday mail time. Yay! Let's get some light on here though. But cool. It's kind of a cool effect. <laughs> Welcome to my birthday episode, finally. I'm here, we're in the Matt Cave again. I got it nice and smoky and foggy in here. Say hello to all my little friends here. I got a nice little mask, mask section here going on. For those of you who are new to the Matt Cave, I haven't, I haven't done a Matt Cave video in a while. Uh, just because in the summertime, it got too hot out here to do Matt Cave. I'd rather it be cold in the Matt Cave when I do it than hot. Right now, it's kind of just right. Uh, I guess we are going to do my birthday mail vlog now, and I'll also answer some of those questions. There we go. Oh, cool. Look what the smoke did to my cool bat light. Ooh, I knew the smoke would be good in here. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, first off, I don't think I, my buddy Owen, over at Bride of Chickenstein, sent me a sticker, Bride of Chickenstein podcast. If you remember, I did the Bride of Chickenstein podcast a while ago. <laughs> it was pretty fun. So that's, that's that, he sent me a sticker. So I just want to say thanks, Owen, thanks for that. If you haven't checked out his podcast, go do that. 
So that wasn't from a birthday or anything, but it was a while ago, but I just thought I'd say it. Thank you. And I'm gonna put the Brighter Chicken Science sticker up now, finally, because I showed you. Okay, what else? All right. Here's the first ones. A bunch of what appear to be clothy type things in plastic bags. <laughs> oh, sweet, it's a turtle shirt. I am actually in my 30s. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty sweet. I am actually in my 30s, it's true. I am in my 30s. Thanks, TJ, that's awesome. I appreciate that. I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. As you can see, I just put the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle guy mask up on my wall. <laughs> Someone brought a dog. I, you know, I gotta get this guy out for this one. What'd you get there, Matt? Uh, what'd you get there in the old uh, mail time log? A grown man. And I just played with an action figure. I opened gates to other dimensions for evil demigods. And the other one has a sign that says, I help. Now, in case you don't know, I'm not into evil things. I'm not into demigods or evil. I like light. Light is a good thing. But this is Ghostbusters. This is a story about good and evil, and good overcomes evil. <laughs> this is Ghostbusters. This is an awesome shirt. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So, so far, Teenage Ninja Turtles and, and a Ghostbusters. Right on, dude. Thanks, man. What's well, his last one? <laughs> I remember. Type decks. No! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, DJ. That's totally awesome, man. I love it. All right, what's next? Ooh, I need my knife. Cha -cha. This one is from, don't forget, Emily. So thank you, Emily, for sending me this. You have to see the cool packaging. Cool. It's pretty cool packaging. She's got the skull and crossbones from Matt's Retro. Well done, Emily. Oh, opens this way, opens this way. Ooh, this is awesome. Look at this, his eyes pop out. Well, they don't pop out super big. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Little pumpkin bouncy ball. Little pumpkin bouncy ball. Pumpkin bouncy ball. I'm gonna lose this immediately because I bounce these and one time and then they're gone forever. I don't know, I have a gift for losing them immediately. Ooh, what could this be? Ooh, what could this be? A little, uh, you know what, this this will go perfect. This will go perfect next to my little zombie guy that I showed you earlier that's inside. I'm gonna put this, not in the mat cave, but I'm gonna put this next to uh, my little zombie inside. Thanks, Emily, that was really fun. Thanks, Emily, I appreciate that. This one here. We've got something from Matt Hermson. All right, Matt, here we go. Oh, there's, there's a letter. Hey Matt, since your mat cape has so many lights in it, I figured you might enjoy this one. I thought maybe you could use it for an alarm for when you get mail in the future, or if you wanted to recreate the opening credits from the Naked Gun movie. Oh, I think I know what it is. That would be cool too. As always, keep up the good work and happy birthday, bro. Your friend Matt. Thank you, Matt. Oh, there's another do not open until 2017. <gasps> it is 2017, so I'm gonna open it. On the night that you open this package, on October 9th, you will be one year older. Please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. <laughs> Your friend Matt. Matt, thanks buddy. It's all nice cursive and everything too. Nobody writes in cursive anymore, I love it. Good job. Good cursive writing too, my friend. Louis Cafe paper from Back to the Future. I was just listening to that soundtrack yesterday in my car. So anyways, thanks Matt. And now for your final gift. Give it away. Oh good, you've got a, uh, a self-addressed stamped envelope. Send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, anybody out there, and I will send you free stickers. I'm gonna send you some stickers. Dude, Matt, well done my friend, well done. <laughs> Let's see if we can plug this in here. I'm out of plugs. I'm gonna have to unplug Yoda. Here we go. It's turning. The light's not working though. But, I bet that's an easy fix. I'm gonna fix it right now. But you can see what it's gonna look like. 
So put this behind it. <laughs> That's an easy fix though. I love to fix things, so I'm gonna fix it right now. I need a screwdriver and, and a light bulb. All right, we've got it dissected here. I wonder, it almost looks like it just wasn't screwed in tight enough. Let me try it again. Oh yeah, see you there. Just wasn't screwed in tight enough. Now that it's screwed in nice and tight, bam, we're golden. Sweet. Matt, not me Matt, you Matt, other Matt. I love it, thanks dude. This is a great addition to the Matt cave. You know what's cool is my smoke machine has a little thing I could put on my keychain so I could just bam, you hear it? And more smoke's on the way. <laughs> Down to our last birthday mailbox. Here we are. The last one here from Nintendo Lunchbox. Uh, thanks for sending me some mail here. Got a little itty bitty Rubik's Cube. Thank you, sir. I love Rubik's Cubes. I've been meaning to get another one. <laughs> you can never have too many Yodas. Dude, thanks, man. Birthday gift of Matt, I am, yes. Mm -hmm. Next to Jackalopes, I will go, yes. Mm -hmm. Nintendo Lunchbox likes Jackalopes. That's why I said that. Stickers. As in, as in um, postage stamps. Eclipses, <laughs> that's cool. Eclipse stamps, cool. Elvis, he's doing his thing, Elvis. Love me some Elvis. Matt and friends, here are a few rad things I ran into this year. The Rubik's Cube is the OG fidget cube. Two by two cubes are still a fun challenge. This is true. Yoda is a dog toy, but take a close look at his face. You had one job, factory worker. The stamps are to celebrate the solar eclipse. The moon appears when you touch them. Uh, thanks for all your hard work and letting us live vicariously. Nintendo Lunchbox. Thanks, dude. Let's take a look at Yoda's face then again. <laughs> I just noticed this. <laughs> I'm glad you sent the thing because look, his face is upside down. Like here he is, and, and, and here is actual Yoda. Look, you can see his face. <laughs> That's right side up, right? That's right side up Yoda. And this is how they... <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. So he's going in the mat cave, and I'll just, I'll have to buy my dog something else to play with. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the fun gifts. I love every single one of them, you guys. So thank you guys so much. It means the world to me that you thought of me for my birthday. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but just thank you. Now, uh, I said also on the video that I told you guys about my birthday mail vlog coming up that uh, you could ask me some questions on that video. So let's do that now. All right, first things first. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, enough already. I got this guy last year for Halloween. Okay, questions and answers. Let's see what we got here. M-U-S-E, I'm guessing it's Muse, Rediscovered, asks, what is your favorite location in Minnesota? Love the Hot Sam's visit. That place is pretty cool. My favorite location in Minnesota, without a doubt, is the North Shore of Lake Superior. It's absolutely beautiful up there. And you guys are in luck, actually, because me and Ashley just went there this weekend, and I vlogged it for you. I am, it was kind of my birthday vlog and fun, so, but so, so anyways, yeah, you, you'll be able to see some of that. So, you know, we just went to Grand Marais and just hung out, so, but those should be some fun vlogs coming up. Um, as far as places that I've done videos on, uh, mall rats filming locations. That was really cool to see that spot. The classic car graveyard. That place was amazing. Of course, the haunted mental asylum in Anoka. That place was kind of crazy, man. You know what? The spam museum was loads of fun. But yeah, I, I would have to say kind of the North Shore of Minnesota is my favorite spot. Good question. Thanks for the question. All right, TJ asks, what was your favorite Halloween costume? of all that you wore as a kid. I would say it's probably my ninja outfit. I had a ninja outfit. I wore it more than just on Halloween. I wore it every night to bed, so it was kind of like ninja pajamas. <laughs> Either that, or in fifth grade, I had this zombie mask, and it had a bullet hole in it, and I won creepiest mask award at my school. 
That was a pretty good one too. If you could send a message back in time to yourself, what would the message say? What are your three all-time favorite candies ranked best to least and your one most hated candy? All-time favorite candies, Reese's Pieces, just a standard Hershey's bar. Can't go wrong with the standard Hershey bar and Snickers. Least favorite, <clears throat> probably like candy corn. I really don't like candy corn. Like, I appreciate its fallness and Halloweeniness. I don't like it, it's nasty. If you could send a message back in time to yourself, what would the message say? That's the deep one. You know what? Mm. I would say to myself, whatever you get to, whatever life throws at you, whatever is going to happen to you, you're gonna get through it. And it's gonna make you stronger on the other side. On the other side of the pain is a stronger version of yourself. On the other side of the hurt is a stronger version of yourself. On the other side of, you know, the unforgiveness that you learn how to forgive is a better version of yourself. And you just keep growing through these pains, and growing pains. Uh, and you just become a better version of yourself through everything you go through. So when life hits you in the face, it uh, you're gonna get through it and you're gonna be better after you go through it. What, uh, Matthew Thoman Bailey writes, what is your first time going trick-or-treating? Um, I'm not sure I remember my first time, but my first memory I have going trick-or-treating, I dressed up as a uh, Native American Indian chief, and the headdress that I had was too big for me, and it just kept falling down over my face like this, so I walked around like this all night <laughs> with the feather sticking up and a, and a, and a, and a pillowcase that was too big, and I, I, I think I drug, dragged a hole in the pillowcase or my, I thought maybe it was a pumpkin, or maybe I dragged a hole in the pumpkin thing, but it was loads of fun. It was snowing out, I think my dad took me that year, so it was before my parents split up, and it was just, it was good, I remember that year. It was fun, fun year. Matt, Matt GM Dude says, what is your name? What is your quest? What is your favorite color? <laughs> and he says, okay, my real question, can you tell us your origin story at some point in the future? Good question, my origin story. Like, Logan, or did you know Yoda's getting an origin story? I think they're gonna do like a Yoda origin story. It's gonna be awesome. Sometime I'll have to do my origin story here though. Long story short though, I came from Colorado. Grew up in Colorado for 27 years. My parents got divorced when I was 10 years old. That had a major effect on me. Uh, I grew up playing sports. I played football in high school. Um, I had a total ACL blowout. Jacked up my knee, huge, huge time. Rehabilitated it, played my whole senior year again. Um, so that had a big effect on who I was too, kind of battling through that. Had some good relationships, had some really bad relationships. And just kept growing through it all. Um, eventually it took me to Scotland, and uh, then I, I traveled to Orlando, Florida for like five years, and then now I'm in Minnesota um, after meeting my lovely wife, Ashley, and getting married and moving back to Minnesota where her family is kind of from. Um, so in a long story short, that's kind of my origin story. There's a whole lot more to it though than that, of course, as there's a lot more to every one of your stories as well. Um, <clears throat> so I'll have to do that. I'll have to figure out a good way to share my origin story with you sometime. Um, but for now, we'll leave it at that and we'll just say thank you guys so much for all of the gifts, all of the presents, for wishing me a happy birthday. I can't say thank you enough for all of the love you've shown me on my birthday. It's made my birthday very happy and now I get to go edit and hopefully upload this vlog today on my birthday. So, um, from all of us here in the mat, the mat cave, the smoky mat cave, <laughs> all kinds of masks and cool stuff, um, thank you guys. And that's all we got for today. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Matt. Happy birthday to me. Okay, bye.